This is the Art of Network Engineering podcast. In this podcast, we'll explore tools, technologies, and talented people. We aim to bring you information that will expand your skill sets and toolbox and share the stories of fellow network engineers. Welcome to the Art of Network Engineering. I am AJ Murray, and welcome to our holiday extravaganza special. Hey! And uh, I am joined by a probably the largest panel we've ever had on the show, but I'm very excited to welcome everybody here. Let's uh, start by going around clockwise on my screen here. Immediately next to me is Andy Holiday Boy Laptef. You are so dressed up. Uh, it looks fantastic. I love the glasses. I re- I wish I had those glasses myself. Still and the for shirt. my six year old daughter. Yeah. <laughs> hey AJ, <laughs> how you doing, man? Uh, happy holidays to you. Happy holidays to you, my friends. Yes, this is lovely. Yes. How, what what's uh, what's going on with Andy lately? Are y'all ready for the holidays? Are y'all ready for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, I that, man. I know that's a loaded question, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> I, so I will be super subtle, but I will say that there are um, challenges have presented themselves in my personal life. And I just I'm only I'm only saying that here because you guys here, this team has been uh, super supportive and listening to me the past few days as I um, work through some stuff, just life stuff. No big deal. It's something that we all probably go through eventually. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, life is good. The holidays are they're you know are here. It's exciting. We go to like these Christmas light things and s'mores party things, and I love this time of year. It's it's really my favorite time of year. I don't know what it is about Christmas. You know, like I just it's it's just a joyous like all my happiest memories. I think when I was a kid were from Christmas for yeah. whatever reason, and yeah. I just I've never lost that right. So and now I get to do that for our kids, which is just really fun to do. Isn't that isn't it fun? Oh my gosh, I have so much fun with that now. Except for the elves. I don't like the elves. <laughs> oh my God, the elf on the shelf. I told my wife not to do it a couple of years ago. And now it's, yeah, at night I have to, I have this anxiety that if I forget, I'm going to be in so much trouble. The oh morning. my God, dude. My, my wife and I have forgotten. And, and yeah. luckily when my son gets out of bed, he's got like this bed that's high up off the ground. So when he gets out, he thuds and we have moments <laughs> Uh, you know, you before he, warning. he comes out. So it's like, we hear oh, that noise thought and like panicked. We're like, Oh God, <laughs> oh, we forgot to move the elf. Uh, <laughs> the magic uh, of Christmas is dead. <laughs> so then, then like one of us is like dashing out the bed. Well, we're, we're both running out. One of us is going to like s- greet him at his door and, and install him from coming out. And the other one's like, you know, down the hallway doing the, doing the move. So anyway, so you've never been busted. You've not, never been like, not, why didn't the elves move? Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. It'll happen. I'm sure. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. And that was Tim McConaughey. Tim, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Just uh, you know, finishing all the uh, the holiday shopping and all that good stuff. Yep. Trying to trying yep. to keep it somewhat reasonable. You know, I, mm-hmm. I've been trying for years now to keep it reasonable. Um, but yeah, we we have the same uh, elf anxiety. Although, <laughs> I think I think this might be the last. Uh, this probably yeah. is going to be the last year. My uh, my my, young, my youngest is turning ten in a couple days, and she's definitely dropped some hints that uh, it's probably about time to hang it up. But you know, mm. fun while it lasted for the Bitter, last, bittersweet, you know, bittersweet. Very ten good. years, I think we've been doing it. Yeah. So yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> let's let's keep in mind that there may be children listening to this with their parents in the cars. <laughs> so well well played, Tim. Yes. yes. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put a disclaimer at the very front of this episode. <laughs> there are some spoilers, yes. so don't listen to this with your yes. with your kids. Holiday uh, spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would hate to get blamed for for ruining the magic of Christmas for some little boys and girls around the world. Yeah. Uh next is Tim Bertino. Tim, how are you? Tis the season, fellas. You look very jolly. You. I, with your, I, I love your lights. Your necklace is great. I, f- I feel jolly. Thank you. You know, I, I was doing kind of a, a year in review in my head earlier today, thinking about this show, and it's it's been quite the year, hasn't it? I mean, like I, I was thinking just in terms yeah. of you guys, and AJ, I've seen you three times this year. I'm sure I we'll know. Talk it, about spoiled. 
seen you right. three times. Andy, I've seen you once. Seen Dan a couple times. It's uh, it's been. He a had good a year. very creepy interaction with Andy's photo, and uh, oh, we, so yeah, no, I guess your, I guess I've been with Andy twice. If you, yeah, my, con- my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, t- Tim McConaughey busted that one open on Twitter. Thanks for that. And Tim, you just reminded me. I met Alex this year. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. saw yeah. Alex this year. Yeah. Met Alex. That was very cool. He put up with us for a few days. Yeah, I, I faked it pretty well. <laughs> AJ taught nice. us how to edit video. It was it was fantastic. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Excellent. And uh, Chris Miles from Down Under. What's up, guys? Yeah, I'm. Uh... I'm I'm dressed like I'm like it's cold here, just to you know kind of keep with the theme. But I will, I'm I'm definitely warm right now. So well, if, uh, if you need to, put, you know, put, put, do a wardrobe yeah. change before we get started, by all means. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one thing that's uh, kind of cool here, but also weird is having hot Christmas. Uh, so it's like in the middle of summer. So you know, you have Christmas lunch and you're sweating half to death, and you go and then you go to the beach afterwards. So it's it's a good trade off, I think. You know, beats being cold. I hate being cold. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I never thought about that. That's that's crazy. <laughs> I just I could not imagine having like Christmas without snow and being cold. And yes, yeah, Santa, who is real for all the children listening, um, comes in to your house but b- via a, a jet ski, I guess. You know, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, you adapt know, and overcome. To stay cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's great. Chris, which way What's, does your toilet flush? Bro, that was when I first visited Australia. That was I had like had to do hotel quarantine because it was during COVID. Yeah. Uh, I swear to God, I went in there and the first thing I did was flush the toilet. Just like <laughs> I, see I don't what mind. happened, bro. <laughs> it's it's bullshit. The water just goes straight down. Doesn't even swirl. I was like, it's an airplane wait, toilet. What? <laughs> not really not really that it's not like it just doesn't spin it's just like so wait, the toilets here you've never you've never met a toilet in australia that twirls like they all just go straight down i need to pay better attention the the, the few <laughs> that i've that i've interacted with and so paid attention right down, huh? in, just interacted right with he's, yeah he's interacted been in, with, with, yeah. He's interact been in australia toilets. for like a year or, or whatever and he's only had to use the bathroom like twice and he just yeah i'm been i'm holding it in for next time I'm at AJ's house. Chris, for the record, <laughs> up here by Philadelphia, mine spins clockwise. So can you just check in your travels and let me know? Because I asked oh. Daniel to Techni. I forget Techni. how to say his last Techni. name. Techni. Daniel Techni. He's an Australian friend we had on here, and I don't think he answered my question. I'll, I'll take a video for it. I'll take like a selfie <laughs> video where like I'm giving the thumbs up. While the but it's a thing, and it's us. called the Coriolis effect, and I'm putting yeah, a dollar on the fact that yours go the other way, but it's you're real. not helping me out here, so. I've just seen make sure you, too, bro. You, when you do the selfie, there's like a big deuce, so we know clearly. Uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say the opposite. Was. Please make sure it's it's just a this test is, run. This is definitely hey, Chris. Mike Mike yeah. V two had a good suggestion though. Put that on our TikTok account. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that, that's how you gain that's followers. Good content, that dude. Is, uh, dude that's content. <laughs> toilet humor is the one joke that's funny from birth till death. I yeah, just saying. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. It, yeah, it, when it I'm on my deathbed, someone leans in for my last words. I'm just going to say like fart or something. And it's <laughs> it's going to work no matter what. Oh my gosh. All right. And uh, the last elf on the list here is Alex Perkins. Alex, thanks for joining us tonight. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. Um, yeah. A lot of stuff's already been mentioned, obviously. Um, I, this is the earliest ever that we have finished Christmas shopping. Um, I, yeah, no, you don't I have just to can't brag. even believe it. You don't have to I can't even believe it, dude. Like, I've never feeling, been, been so ready. It is, yeah, it's such a good feeling. It takes the stress. You're, ma- you're making those of us yeah. that haven't started feel bad, so you should <laughs> slow down. Oh, man. Yeah. So, no, I mean, we're just doing a bunch of family things. Like uh, Andy mentioned, you know, there's like all kinds of light shows and walk around things to do. Um, yeah. So, lots of, lots of fun stuff. And as Tim Bertino mentioned, uh, I got to meet all you guys in Knoxville this year. So, that was. That was pretty awesome, but I'm sure we'll talk about all this. Absolutely, and 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 that uh, that'll be a nice segue to the to the theme of tonight's show is we want to recap some of the high points of this year uh, and talk about you know what the podcast means for us, what this community means for us once again because it's the holidays. It's all about that warm fuzzy feeling we get from all the great things that happen throughout the year. 
and a time for reflection and uh, thinking about what lies ahead for us in the future. Uh, so I want to kick it off with uh, some of the great guests that we had on because this this show does not happen uh, without some guests and, and we have some very generous people that give us their time and share their knowledge with us. And I think we've had a lot of great discussions, a lot of great conversations, and there's quite a few that stick out in my mind. Uh, I, I think one of the the more eye-opening ones for, for me was our conversation with Josh Varghese, uh, where we talked about OT versus IT. Uh, that was just a fun episode. And, and I could tell, like, when we were talking, and it, the more Andy talked to him, he, he was just, like, mind-blown every, every couple of minutes. It was a fun conversation. And I, I tell great. you, my my takeaway from that is I would have thought if I was just meeting Josh, I would have thought he's been doing a podcast for quite a while. I mean, he's just a very <laughs> – yeah. you, you can tell that part of his business is going into companies in teaching because he's just – he was able to walk through all of that with us with tact, and it just yeah. sounds like he talks to people all the time. It was it, – yeah, that was a fun one. You could easily tell how much he loves what he does, right? That that was very clear. What blew me away and really helped my imposter syndrome was I, I never feel like I know enough and everybody's smarter than me and blah, 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 right? All that crap. And then we're talking to him and he's built a whole business around like, oh, yeah, all the industrial places, at least in the U.S., like <laughs> their networks are such a mess. Like you could... You could take the first five minutes of CCNA and be a rock star in any industrial yeah. network, like, you know, environment. He's like, dude, I'm teaching them about like what, you know, a managed switch is and like layer two and, and segmentation. And I just, I just couldn't believe that there are networks out there running very critical services <laughs> for things. And, you know, they just have unmanaged switches daisy chained everywhere. And it's just a poop show. You know what I mean? And and, and he's cleaning it all up, thank goodness. But it just opened my eyes, right? Like you're in networking for a decade. You talk to all the people and then you talk to somebody who just shows you a completely different world of networking. And it, yeah, it, he was amazing. Yeah, my my last job, I did like a relatively large uh, SD-WAN deployment and, and incorporated in that was uh, also reconfiguring a large... OT network at every major manufacturing site, dude. Some of those are such a mess, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, like, the, the, like you said, there's just like the same like IP networks reused over and over again. Like the one one nine two one six eight dot one network is everywhere, and then they're like, oh, what do you mean connect these things together? No, you can't do that. No way. That that would be insane. Uh, I, it's amazing that it's been functioning like that for like 20 years or something. It's uh, it's very eye opening. What uh, for for you guys? I, I don't want to sit here and name, you know, all the guests I thought were were great. What are some other guests that stuck out for you? So we hmm. did a, not even necessarily on purpose, <laughs> but we did a string of uh, we had a string of guests that had a military background. Yeah. Um, in fact, the the big one we did, we did a panel of folks in the military. And the the goal behind that one was to kind of guide and, and teach people that are in the military how to transition out and and what to do and what uh, what programs to take advantage of. And that was that was really eye opening for me because I've I've never been in the service. So hearing what they go through and what programs that uh, they can take advantage of was really beneficial to me. And uh, I, I think that was a good one to have in general. So, so that episode came out, uh, came about because I have a cousin who's in the army and he reached out to me about careers in it. And, you know, I, I said, I'm happy to, to jump on a call and, and talk with you about this. And, and he's just like, well, would would you talk to my group? I'm like, well, yeah, sure. I don't care. <laughs> so uh, on a whim, I grabbed uh, Brittany Musset because, you know, she's a tech recruiter and she certainly has experience hiring people with clearances and stuff. Uh, and so I, I thought she would also be a good resource to have. Although I certainly don't have a military background and I wasn't able to give them any specific pointers on that. 
Uh, but I was able to say, hey, when you transition into the enterprise world, here's what I think will be different for you <laughs> coming from the military. Uh, and, and so it was a great conversation. We uh, recorded it. We, we met with them uh, via WebEx and recorded the conversation. And I was able to provide that to him so he could have other folks in his group uh, watch it back because he had a whole wide range. Like some folks were getting to uh, getting ready to get out within days and some were, were months down the road. But from that stemmed the idea for, for this episode and reaching out to the community and finding some people that had uh, more experience transitioning from military to civilian life. Uh, and and that, was, that was a great episode for sure. Yeah, I was I was mad that I could not attend that episode because yeah. <laughs> you know I, I AJ and I were even talking about this at the time, and I just had like other things going on when the episode was recorded. But man, it, it was really good, and that's super valuable information. Um, just as someone who's gone through that transition, like um, that's very helpful information for a lot of people out there. So, agree, that was a really good one. Some other folks we've had on the show this year that, uh, you, you know, ring out for me or stick out for me is, is uh, Russ White, for one. What, what a fun conversation uh, talking to Russ White earlier this year. Um, talk about a humble person. I mean, the, the man has just accomplished so much and he does so much like professionally, personally, recreationally. Like he's, he's got a ton of hobbies. He's got a ton of interests. And, and just having a conversation with him was just Amazing! It was it was so much fun to talk to him and, and learn more from him. Um, we we talked to Jason Gintert, who was one of the original founders of the USNUA, and I believe all of us now have been to some form of USNUA meeting or we're we're co leading uh, one in our local area. So uh, that's been a really great opportunity to meet others from our, our local network engineering communities uh, as well as uh, just be social. Uh, so that's that's been a lot of fun. Uh, Jeremy Stretch, I wasn't there for that one, but uh, that was a great episode talking to uh, Jeremy Stretch. Um, th- another one that was really fun was talking to Brent Morris. Uh, Tim, you and I talked to Brent from Cisco Exam Security and talked to him about some of the challenges and some of the real dumbass shit people do to try to st- <laughs> steal yeah, my- steal certifications. My favorite was the uh, the one he talked about where they caught somebody where there was a guy, they could clearly see a guy standing behind a curtain um, <laughs> in the room giving people or coaching people on answers to certification tests. I'm like, <laughs> that's just wild. Yeah, crazy. Um, um, one of the ones that I, I wanted to call out was from early, uh, fairly early in the year. Yeah, it was in February. Uh, Andy and I did it in... A big reason we did this episode is because we've all kind of talked about how we're not huge fans of uh, supporting and working with Enterprise Wireless. So we brought uh, Roel Dionisio on to to really just give us the, the high level from a wireless engineering perspective. What do you need to do to to plan a site for deploying wireless or to go in and do surveys to troubleshoot. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Roel's obviously been doing the Clear to Send podcast for a long time. So it was awesome to, to get him on and, and really walk us through some of those concepts. We also had a cloud networking episode where we had three cloud networking experts join us. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to make any assumptions about our, our listeners. So uh, if you're, you're just joining and listening to the podcast, the uh, three joining us tonight, Tim McConaughey, Chris Miles, and Alex Perkins are the co-hosts of our other podcast, Cables to Clouds, which we uh, were very excited to put together and launch earlier this year. Uh, and and so we kind of sneakily brought them onto the show to talk about hybrid cloud networking and, and its presence. Uh, you know, clearly it's here to stay. And then we quickly followed that episode up with an announcement of their podcast and and launched it. And you guys have been doing a bang up job this year. The stats are already looking really good. We're coming up on pretty close to one year launched. It was uh, what January of this year. You guys approached me about you know doing the podcast, and then I think we actually launched it in March. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah, early I think March. that's right. I think it was early March. Yeah, I think I'm looking at when that episode came out. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's been it's been quite a year. I think we've all learned that. Um, Running a podcast, it's very easy to get started, and it's a lot of work to get done at the, at the end of the yeah. day. But it's 
it's been worth it, man. It's uh, just like, you know, being able to, you know, get recognition and even have people come on and want to talk to us is, is just an amazing feeling, you know, cause uh, I, I just like sitting around and talking shop with, with people that want to talk. So, uh, it's, it's been a, it's been a great outlet for me for sure. Yeah. And, uh, you know, thanks to you guys, like we wouldn't be where we are, uh, if you guys didn't, you know, agree to let us come under your umbrella and AJ man, with all the editing tips, um, like Tim was calling out at Knoxville, you were, I think there's a picture of that Andy took of you, like me and Tim leaning over your shoulder while you were showing us how to edit. <laughs> uh, awesome, man. You, you guys, well, have, I, just thank you very much. Alex was learning. I had been drinking, so I was looking at the screen. <laughs> no, that, that, that was great. And, and, you know, again, Alex, I have to say, I appreciate you. Uh, wanting to learn and and taking that over because not editing two podcast shows is is definitely noticeable in my life. So <laughs> I, 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 just I doing truly, one, I can only imagine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I truly appreciate that, uh, and I think we're gonna get Tim set up here to help out editing as well. Uh, so no, no, that was that was great. I you know as as you know, I love to to teach and share my knowledge. So that was that was actually really fun to to show you guys how to edit and all the tips and tricks that I've learned throughout uh, the few years I've been doing this. And kudos to you guys. You're doing such a great job. Like you said, it's easy to get started and it's hard to maintain it. And just, you guys have been grinding out and putting out some great content. And I remember when AJ came to me and like, Hey, you know, these, these guys want to start up a cloud podcast and, you know, I'd like to help them out and just like bring them under the umbrella. I'm like, Oh my God, that's amazing. Right. Cause so much of this for the past, I mean, since the beginning really has just been about helping each other, you know, whether it's between us or in the discord or whatever. Right. So the fact that we had any, I don't think you necessarily need us. You guys are killing it. Right. But the the fact that we were able to help get you guys started, it's just been such a, a phenomenal thing to watch. And, you know, I've beat up on cloud over the years, but it's really just because I got beat up by the cloud, you know, in my, in my FinTech job. And, and honestly, I wish I've said it before about our show and our community. I wish our community was there when I was getting started. Honestly, if you guys and the sh- and the show Cables to Clouds was in existence when I got thrust into the cloud world, it would have been such a huge benefit to me because I was just lost and overwhelmed and didn't have anybody to even talk to about it that knew like you guys, you know, you're the experts and you touch so many great topics. And it's just so like my, my favorite episode so far, I loved um, I love Yvonne, right? Yeah. She was, that was just a fantastic episode. And then, uh, the, the Pete Lumbus episode, I think that dropped not too yeah. long ago. Yep. That I was mean, the last one. Yeah. That was our last yeah. one. Yeah. I agree. I've listened to both of those multiple times and not to say the other ones weren't great, but just some grabbed me and the Yvonne and, and the Pete episodes were just so good. And, you know, you guys are, I don't want to say hitting your stride, right? But you're getting better and better. And that's what happens with anything, right? You practice, you work at it and yeah. So it's just been so cool to to watch you guys grow and your show and your following. And and I'm learning and listening along the way. So, you know, thank you for what you're doing. Cause I know it's, you know, you got families and careers and a life and some nights it's like, all right, <laughs> you know, you're asking the wife like, yeah, yeah, you know, these maniac kids are yours right now. I got to go do the thing and make this sausage. Right. So you guys are just doing a great job. Thank you. I, I'm really enjoying the show. And we and we appreciate all the royalties that are coming to us, <laughs> yeah, man. Because we all know there's a lot of money in tech podcasting. But I, I do, I do want to want to echo what Andy was saying. I think the biggest thing that I appreciate about what you are doing is you've stayed true to what you started with. You wanted to create something that was to help bridge the gap between what I call traditional network engineering and cloud networking. And even the episodes that you go into cloud networking concepts at at a decent depth, you always stop, take a step back and kind of equate it or or help the network engineers that don't have a strong foothold in the cloud. So while I don't have cloud networking experience, I feel like I'm still able to hang with most of your episodes because of how you approach it, which is really cool. And since Andy was, uh, I'm sorry if I'm taking everybody's thunder, but since Andy was calling out his favorite episodes, I do want to call one out too. It was the one where it it was almost like a a live lab episode where you guys were um, testing different models 
AI models, things like the, uh, yeah. the GPT awesome. and yep. And oh yeah, that was good. Feeding it, feeding it data, and saying you know, uh, design a network for for different uh, uh, different use cases, and seeing how the different ones stacked up. That was so much fun. That was such a cool idea. Thanks, yeah, man. it's funny because AI has changed already since that episode so much. I guarantee, so much. if we <laughs> if we did that episode again, to be a hundred times different it would be it would just be so uh so drastically um hopefully better i would think but you know that's probably wishful thinking it's so smart that you keep bringing it back to people that like might not be as uh experienced as as you guys right it's something we've tried to do over the years like i know as soon as we start going down a rabbit hole like okay you know, let's explain some terms before we get to, yeah. you know, yep. in the weeds. Cause there might be somebody that's even just contemplating like, Oh, I might want to get into networking. Somebody said, check out the show. Maybe the certifications for me, like, cause you know, and all this technical stuff, it's so easy just to, you Very. know, you're in the matrix, you're in the rabbit hole and everybody's speaking, you know, another language. So you guys have really, it's really a smart move to always bring it back to, you know, people like me who were like, I can spell cloud and <laughs> multi clouds hard and, by the way, I just caught myself on the monitor. Should I? I look ridiculous. Should I take these glasses off? Nobody's. Is beautiful. anybody going to listen to Why anything would you I do say that? with these? I think you look great. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm like up here trying to say, you know, heartfelt stuff, and I look like dude, a complete dude. You're clown. Elton John. You're Elton John. <laughs> yeah, put, your, like Elton right. John. <laughs> put the damn guitar right, back on. With, with the thing on is, he, he kind of looks more like Flava Flav with the uh, like the Christmas Flava Flav. I guess. Oh, it is the uh, Eagles oh, chain. Go. Okay, oh, yeah. it was a green chain. Well, we'll forgive him for that. <laughs> <laughs> says the Pats I'll, fan uh, who's uh, I won't even don't get me started <laughs> I have a I, couple favorite episodes unless somebody wanted I don't want to step on anybody how we doing did anybody have no yeah I, I, I just want to take a second to say that we we mm. greatly appreciate that comment from from both you Tim and Andy I think that's um, good you know what it's I think the biggest message that we wanted to get out there was not only is you know cloud networking a thing uh it's it's cool and it's really fun for if traditional networkers who've been doing it for a long time um you know we we want more people to be into this shit right so that's kind of like yeah. why we started this to try to you know bridge that gap and get more people involved because that's the thing cloud is a, a i'm sure if you if you google anything to do with cloud right now networking is not going to be on any of those lists ever Right. It's going to be all AI. It's going to be all like, you know, yep. modern, modernization of applications and things like that. But the networking enables almost all of that. Right. So it's it's a fundamental piece, just like it is an on prem. Um, so we really just want to kind of make sure that, you know, people have a seat at the table and, um, you know, are involved and understand there's other people doing this shit, you know. So it's really, really fun. There's so many great conversations you're having. Like when I when I got thrown into multi cloud, right nowhere near like you guys, right? I was just this network guy who's like, wait, what? Like, what is this stuff somebody built and ran away from? Um, you know, you hear how simple, and again, we're not going to get like this crazy cloud networking discussion, right? But what I'm amazed, like they talk about how simple cloud networking is, right? Like it's, it's they they keep it simple for a reason, right? Like it's, oh, well, it's simple and it's constrained. You only have a couple things you can do in it. But man, when I, I don't know if it was just, that connectivity coming in and out of all my data centers. And then when something would break, like, wait, what application lives where and what's that thing? And where do I check where and what portal? And it was that multi-cloud piece of just, it was so much easier for me to have like three data, go four data centers that I knew where everything was and where it should be going. Now I have GCP and AWS and Oracle, whatever. And, and, and there's different things living in different places. And you get a call at 3 a.m. like somebody's pissed. Like, where do I even start in this mess, right? Like, you know, like, <laughs> well, cloud networking's easy. Well, I, maybe, but when you got to find the mess in all your other data centers, it just, you know, for me, it wasn't. And I know there's people out there with solutions to try to make it simpler, right? But th that's why I love the conversations you're having because in one breath, somebody will say cloud networking is easy and there's only a couple of things you can do and they keep it super simple. But that wasn't my experience trying to navigate the, hybrid world that you guys talk about so much. So there's just so much there, right? Like, again, I could bother you guys for hours about this, but it's why I love the content you're putting out because, yeah, you get in there and it just, it gets hairy quick. At least it did for me. And hearing you guys talk about things and break it down and make sense of it is just so helpful, I think, for anybody in hybrid cloud, which I'm guessing is almost all of us, <laughs> right? If you're managing well, a network. <laughs> we'll be there soon if you're not there yet. I mean, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Right. 
Yeah, no, I think that's, that's the sweet. number one thing we say all the time, right? Is hybrid is going to be the future. So yep. uh, network engineering yeah, will be hybrid. <laughs> mm-hmm. So no, I, I really appreciate all, all that. I mean, and, and honestly, I feel like we're just doing for the cloud network pieces, what you guys have been doing for the network side of the house for, you know, for years now already, like we're obviously far, far behind the, the trend, but you know, you guys have, put out so much content that has helped so many people. I mean, hell, I remember, oh God, it was years ago now, right? But like, you know, I just started, I don't, I, I think I had just connected with any of you guys on Twitter and you were like, hey, like come to, join our Discord and it popped in. And, you know, I think Andy, you and you were looking for a, an episode one time and that's how I ended up being a guest on the show one, like out of nowhere, right? Like it's, the industry is so small. Like this, you've been so you've been such a great supporter and help. Like, there's a couple times we pulled you in last second. Like, dude, we had a guest and they bailed, or like, you know, whatever happened. Like, oh, Tim's smart and he's good, and he, you know, we love talking to him. Like, hey, Tim, you know, we got an episode in 30 minutes recording. Like, you around? He's like, sure. Well, not <laughs> and not even that's a uh, friend, you know. Not even just the podcast. I've I've hit Tim up and mm, yeah, talking about yeah. things, and he's like. Hey, let, let's get on the phone so I can help you uh, figure out how to negotiate a salary. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, and the story is, cool is Tim's, Tim's never doing anything. Hey, I'm never. <laughs> Hang on, he's always available. Well, he always seems to be helping Either people, which is just fantastic. Like I start honestly, Tim. I probably never told you this. I started offering resume critiques on our Discord because you did it so much, and I'm like, I can look at somebody's resume. Like I'm not an expert, but I might be able to help somebody coming up and and I only yeah. started that because I saw you doing it so much. I'm like, that's, that's like a low effort thing I could try to like help people with. Sure. And you know, you do so many of those things, not to say it was low effort, right? Yeah. But no, no. You're just I, always I'm in there helping people. Yeah. Yeah. The, Chris got it right. I just never do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just have horrible ADHD. So I just look for things to, to distract me from, from, from things I should be doing. <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> No, no, I mean, but, but to finish, thank you. I appreciate all those words, but, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been a great year for, for us and we could have done, we truly, I mean, we probably, I won't say we couldn't have done it without you, but like it made having you guys like help us and, and, and be our cheerleaders and, and all of that and all the stuff they do and everything just, it's been, it's made it possible, I guess, so much more possible to get that leg up and get started. Well, that's the thing. We we certainly could have started something on our own, but you know, we wanted like we we posed it to AJ like, "Hey, we want to start a podcast. How do we do this? Like, how do you do it? Tell us how you do right. it. You know, what what do we do?" And then, you know, we kind of floated it like, "Would you want to help us with it?" And AJ was immediately like, "Yes, let's do it." Yes. Um, and then like we cuz like you guys have done all this work. You've built a community. You know, you you have this large following of people that respect your craft and you know, I think you actually speak to people that don't have a lot of uh, you know, kind of vocal people in in this type of environment within tech. Um, so, you know, I mean, if we can ride your fucking coattails, we're going to do it, man. This is, <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing that you've built. So, yeah, it's 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 been awesome. Well, listen, our master plan is once traditional on-prem networking goes away and we're all dinosaurs and it doesn't mean anything anymore, we're going to be working for you guys because everything's, <laughs> everything's going to be in the cloud with the AI overlord. So, joke's on you. <laughs> we'll pay you handsomely. I hope, I, hope, I hope that never actually happens. I, yeah. I <laughs> The uh, definitely the future's hybrid, so yeah, I'm 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 excited for both of the worlds. Uh, let me think for oh uh, uh, favorite episodes, right? Um, I'm trying to remember. Actually, there I had so many favorites. There were some really good ones. Uh, the one that sticks out in my head um, for a one is the one that I was able, the couple that I was able to, to record because I'm, you guys have so much content that I can't even remember what was this year. If that makes sense. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I, I had to go back and actually look at all of our episodes. Like, well, okay, what did we release this year? <laughs> so uh, at the yeah. beginning of the episode, when AJ was talking, I was scrolling through looking at the episodes for the <laughs> same thing. Like it's just so Guilty. much, right? I think like, that's what the now, now we see behind the curtain. So we know all the cool shit you're doing that hasn't even come out yet. Right. So it's like, it's hard to remember. Yeah. So yeah, no, I mean, um, that we, yeah, there was just so many, so many good ones this year. You guys have such great guests, um, that it just, it makes the, the one with stretch was really, was really good. Um, 
Like you, I think somebody already said that one, right? That was a really good one. Um, honestly, you, you Tim, and, you and oh, Chris God. joined us for uh, you, you and Chris joined us for a CCA panel along That's, with uh, Erica Cooper. Erica. That, that, yeah. that was oh, yeah. a good that was episode. A good one. That was yeah. a good one too. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed Erica. I never, I know her from like the community and like Twitter and stuff, but I never yeah, heard her. Oh, I like, love, I love Erica. She was so yeah. like, I, I loved her kind real. of just. She was so real, real yeah. like she was snarky. No, yeah. no bullshit. I love it. She's great. Yeah. I she really is. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> she said the things many... I'm afraid to say publicly. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I don't know how many times that she would. She said something and immediately said, "I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I don't care." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Absolutely. She's great. Um. Yeah. No. That's that's it. And then maybe on uh for for hours, I had to really this one I just struggled with because um. You know, I guess maybe it's, I don't know if the perspective is different when you're the one recording or whatever, or when you're the one recording it and, and whatnot and planning it. Um, I really liked the one we did with uh, Steve McNutt, which was, or I think, our third episode, mm-hmm. which was about designing security solutions for the cloud. I like that one because... First guest. Yeah, that was yeah. our first guest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Steve was our first guest. And I liked that one a lot because I felt like it hit right in the middle of where I wanted, had kind of envisioned the podcast to be. And so that was really good. The one with Pete, Andy, everybody loves that one, man. Like oh. that was truly good. Um, any of the ones with Yvonne, Yvonne is always a, a pleasure yeah. to listen to and talk to. Yeah. So that's, that's can, mine. Can we, can we pause there? Like, God damn it. What is it about some people that you could just like, right? Like the words are just music and everything they say. And, you know, she's so how much like, oh, shocks. And, you know, yeah. like, but there's something about, I mean, I listen to everything Yvonne does everywhere. Same with Pete on all the different shows and the hedge and this and that and the other thing. And um, Yvonne was just on with Will Collins on the, on the cloud gambit. And like, I don't know what it is with some of these people. I just, I have so much like respect and like, I wish I could be, <laughs> it's, you know, like I wish I was as smart and as eloquent as, as and as an effective communicator as them, because they they just seem like on this other level of, and again they're they're humble too. But I, I don't know. Like, do you guys? Is it just me? Am I totally crazy? There's just some people who are like they just get it. Like Pete on your yeah. show broke down the entire problem in networking like yeah. so crystal clear and like better than anybody I've ever heard. You know, like the problem with networking, quote unquote, right? Like why we're not automating, why we're not getting it right, why things are so behind yeah. the times. Like I was just like, oh my god, like that's it. I've been trying to find those words for years <laughs> and he just killed it. Like how do people do that? I don't know. They, they can see things cle- more clearly than I can. I think I just answered my own question. Thanks for attending my Ted talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's yeah, why I, I love those I, guests. Right. And you never know when you're going to get one of them. You get them on your show and then you're like, Oh my God, this is brilliant. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think, I think Yvonne's one of those people where I'm like, uh, because because she came from doing exactly what we've done, right? Well, you know, we've all been network engineers. We've all been in the trenches type thing. And she's moving like further and further left, you know, before, you know, I guess you could say pre-sales or, you know, customer engagement, things like that. And like trying to identify and address the problems before, but then also doing proper like translation back to the people on the other end, which is, which is really cool. Because it's like, I mean, we've all just, I'm sure we felt like, you know, corporate or management has made a decision where it, it boils down to them handing us the implementers a shit sandwich and we have to eat it regardless. Yeah. Right. Um, and she's really good at articulating, like aligning yourself with the goals of the business, you know, being, uh, being supportive of that, or at least, you know, having, having that in the back of your mind so that, you know, whenever things get tough, like that's the end goal. And if that end goal doesn't align with what you want, maybe, maybe it's not for you. Right. Maybe you can make a change for the better. Right. But she just, like you said, she articulates it so much better than I ever could. Um, and, uh, with, it's, with it's a, really uh, nice. with a smooth Southern accent to boot, just to top. It I think that's right. thing. I'm, I'm from Kentucky as well. So it, I think she speaks to me so much, so much better. And that just, <laughs> Warms my heart. Oh, bless your heart. Ah, yeah, you like stole it. Bless your heart. <laughs> and and I got to meet her in uh, where the hell were we? Knoxville. 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 Yep. Yeah. Knoxville. Knoxville. And that was just, dude. I was. I probably embarrassed myself. Like I was fanboying so bad. <laughs> yep. She's like, you need to stop. I'm like, I'm sorry. Were, I'm just such a big fan of you. Like this. I'm yeah. just. I can't believe that we're in the same room, like hanging out. It's it's amazing. So getting to meet people in person too is just such a fantastic thing. Yeah, let's do more of that in 2024. 
Yeah. Would you yeah. come on the other yeah. side of the planet? How are we supposed to see Absolutely you? Absolutely, I would. Yeah. <laughs> we got to come see you, I guess. AJ, we need a budget to go to Australia. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. We'll Easy. figure it out. We'll figure it out. Easy. Well, a- Andy, on that note, there were some notable events for the podcast uh, this year. We we talked about launching Cables to Clouds. Uh, we were invited to the Juniper Enterprise Networking Summit, uh, where they had a bunch of influencers and analysts from the industry. And uh, we got to see what was going on with the latest with Juniper. And that gave us an opportunity to get some of the crew together. Unfortunately, Andy couldn't join us, but uh, the rest of the team was there. And we got to hang out and pal around with a bunch of other content creators, including uh, the guys from the Packet Pushers. It was a, a real thrill to meet them in person and hang out with them. Um, and uh, so, some other folks that were there at the event. It was a good time. Um, now, come on we, now. Andy Andy still found a way to embarrass me twice. <laughs> well, no, he was there, I man. Mean, he was, was there. That, was that really Andy's fault, uh, Tim? I got to tell you, <laughs> seeing, and I, I, I got to meet Drew, Comrade Murray not too long ago at a, at a at a PA Nug event, which was awesome too. Like, right? It's like meeting one of your like I came up listening to those guys, right? Like that yeah. was it. And um, wasn't that the event where was it like Drew and Ethan like, like yeah. hugging yeah. my picture and like, yeah, but, yeah. but it was it was such a like oh my god the show that I grew up listening to the show that I sat in my cable guy truck yearning for the day that somebody would finally give me a shot at network engineering. Like these guys know who I am. They're taking a picture with my picture. Like it just, it was this weird surreal moment of like, I don't know, like just, they know who I am and they're doing this nice thing with the picture. And and I'm glad you mentioned the Juniper thing, AJ, because again, we've reinvested everything we've made back into the show. So none of us have, you know, we're not driving Teslas yet. Like we're not making money from this thing. Right. Like personally, yet. but, yet. but I just, because we're talking about the year from my perspective, a vendor, you know, one of the big three that like took note of us and decided to partner with us and do some sponsored content. For me, it was just like, Oh wow. Like this feels like another level of recognition of like what we're doing is valuable, right? So I just kind of wanted to, I don't know if we did two or three sponsored pieces with them, you know, throughout the year. There was that event you just talked about. There was some short right. form stuff. Short form, I think yeah. there was like an abstract thing. So like, I, I, I don't know, man. It's just, you know, not that we're looking for validation, right? But it's just really nice when a company that big in the space that we work in shows up and is like, we see you, we like what you're doing and, and we'd like to work with you. It's it just... I don't know. I felt very validated that, again, we're not in it for the sponsorship dollars, right? It's not like, hey, we, we want to do all these sponsored shows because, you know, but at the same time, it just really, I don't know. I don't know how that hit you guys, but when when a, one of the big three showed up and said, yes, we want to partner with you, I was just like, oh, my God. You know, I think I ran into <laughs> my wife, like, you wouldn't believe this. <laughs> like, Guess who just called? I don't know. I got I got super <laughs> tickled about that. And it wasn't yeah. because they yeah. they're my employer, right? It was just you know, they're, they're one of the big dogs in the industry. Right. And they, they knocked on our door. I thought that was wild. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, we, we've had a lot of great sponsors over the years, but Juniper networks was by far the largest. And, and not only are they the largest networking company to sponsor us, but they're also the largest sponsor we have in that they sponsored with us multiple times over and over again. And, you know, it was, it was a great experience. And we, we got an opportunity to do something that we normally do, uh, you know, as far as doing interviews and, and recording an episode. But then they also asked us and challenged us to do something that was outside of our box, right? That we had to put some thought into design, come up with a solution kind of thing uh, and, and present to them four different pieces of short form content, which was, you know, mm-hmm. new for us, right? Especially, you know, not being a generation that grew up on... <laughs> Short form content is how I'm going to phrase that <laughs> uh, to to try to you know figure out how do we do this this short form content marketing stuff for for a company where you know you're trying to advertise something without directly advertising it right so uh, that that was a good challenge uh, we we also had some other great sponsors Kentic of course Forward Networks and uh, Unimus they were all great to work with this year. And, uh, you know, we truly appreciate the support that we get from them uh, on the podcast. And as Andy said, we put a lot of the money that we get right back into the show. It supports us being able to, you know, pay for licensing for various products that help us edit the show, all the platforms that we're on. Uh, and, and so it's 
it's great to be able to make those kind of improvements in the quality of our content and as in where it gets released. So uh, all, all good stuff, but we are planning to spend some of that and get it back into the community as we originally intended. Uh, and so you can look for that in 2024 here, since we're wrapping up the year. Um, downloads wise, we have smashed through 660,000 all time downloads. I, I do predict nice. if the trends continue, maybe we'll hit the 1 million mark next year. That's insane. <laughs> 1 million. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's been great, um, and, and then of course you know we haven't had a chance to talk about it on the show. It was announced on social media, uh, but Lexi not too long ago decided to step away from the podcast, and uh, you know we do thank her for all of her contributions, and it's been great getting to know her over the last few years, uh, and we we of course look forward to to see what she does uh, with with her own journey. So thank you, Lexi, for being a part of the team. Yeah, she was great to have on the show. I really enjoyed her from the beginning. We had uh, what was the not not Knoxville, you know the the first event we had. Oh, Asheville. Asheville, Asheville. Yeah, Asheville, thank yeah. you, Asheville. And it was just so nice to like get to meet her and spend the time with her and just you know and 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 what she's doing, even at work, is just so amazing. Like I saw something. I mean, like we knew her before she was like Rocket Girl, right? Like, which was just really <laughs> cool to watch her. Like, yeah. I, th I think she was at the knock at the time at IBM or whatever, but just to to then, you know, wind up at Blue. And then I th I saw something, a picture of like part of the new Glenn Rocket being shipped somewhere for like, like things are starting to come to get like that thing is going to fly soon. And I'm just so happy for her that. You know, she was one of those like career pivots. She had a career she hated and she went back to school and fell in love with networking and got a certification and doors opened. And and here she is working on the network that's, you know, going to freaking launch payloads to like Mars. Like, are you kidding me? Like, how cool <laughs> is this industry? Like, listen to that story. Like just that. And, and she did it in a really relatively short period of time. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful for the time that we had with her. And just wish her nothing but the best. And, you know, I'm pretty sure she's going to be an astronaut and they're going to like fly her somewhere <laughs> just because, just because Lexi, right? Like she's, she's going to be in a rocket someday. She's like, going to be shit birds and pew, she'll be you know? crimping, crimping cables on the moon at some point. Yeah, man. <laughs> like it wouldn't surprise me. I just, I don't see any, any limit to like where she's going. It's just such a, such a cool story. So anyway, some, you know, somebody that went from, I hate my career starting over moving home to like not that long later, like look at yeah, it now. So yeah. just such a cool story. And I'm just very grateful that she was, uh, you know, she was, she was on our journey for, for a bit and yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see what she does. It's really cool. So thanks for your uh, time with us, Lex. It was great. I, I have just she, a couple more things that I want to mention. Uh, it sounds like Tim, you, you want to add more. Yeah. I was just going to say, I mean, she, she always finds something that she wants to do and learn more about and is completely unapologetic about it. That's what, that's what I love. Like she's, she's gotten super into layer one and layer two, and she's really found a passion for learning about that. And I've seen stuff on social media where people will just give her crap. Like, why do you care so much about that? It's not important. And it's like, well, actually it is. And don't crap on people for trying to better themselves, learning something that's in fact, she led, planned and led an episode with somebody that she knew about ethernet that, that took us on a deep dive of it. And that it was really cool. And she was super excited about it and it went really well. And, uh, yeah, she's done a lot for us, um, over time. And I agree with your sentiment. I can't wait to see what she does next. Tim, that irreverent, I don't give a shit attitude is the reason I think one of the main <laughs> reasons that like, I probably watched most of her study streams, like it, yeah. it, it, at the very least early on, like at least 10, 12 of them. I mean, I have never in the history of my life and I probably never will ever again sign in and watch somebody study, right? Like <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't interest me, but she just made it so entertaining. Like if you can take an RFC or an 800 page ethernet book and like make it entertaining, you know, yelling at Cisco press for the typos and like, just, I don't know, man, it, it, it was really, uh, she made ethernet interesting. I don't know how she did that. It's just, it's definitely a gift, you know? 
Absolutely. Um, I, I just want to mention a couple more things uh, before we transition to the next part of the show. Um, you know, one is we, we can't not talk about Knoxville. Uh, so the, the Knoxville Technology Council reached out to us earlier this year and they said, hey, we want you to be a part of our in-person events. Uh, and so long story short is we came up with a good plan of what we were going to do and we got to go down to Knoxville, hang out with with the whole crew here. Uh, uh, Andy was there, Dan was there, Tim was there, I was there, uh, and Alex joined us for a few days. Uh, and we got to meet a, a lot of our, our listeners, which was just a crazy experience because we had some folks that drove like nine hours away <laughs> to come up and, and hang out with us. Uh, and flew. And, and we some had people, people get on planes. Yeah, I was just going to say, some people you know booked, booked flights and, and came down and joined us. And uh, it was just a really surreal. Family. Yeah. 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 Uh, it, and it was just kind of a surreal experience, you know, like it's one thing to record the show and I can see the download numbers, but actually interacting with people who listen to and appreciate the content that we put out, it's, it really hits home and, and it makes me, you know, firmly believe like this is, this is why we're doing it exactly. So uh, it was really fun to, to get together and meet everybody in Knoxville. Um, and then lastly, our listeners, I, I want to thank our listeners. You know, we, we wouldn't be doing this without their support. Uh, we, we hear from people from the community all the time. I'm very excited that we're bringing back the wins in our short form content. So uh, if you have a win, go to the winning channel, drop it in there. We, we released the first one uh, last week, uh, as we're recording this anyway, with last week. And um, already... I've seen a ton more wins get dumped into the discord channel. So clearly people want their wins read again. Yep. Uh, I'm tracking you know, I, I, I regret pulling it out of the show. I just, it, it really, you know, I wanted the wins to be timely, right? Like if you achieve something, you want to hear it pop up on the next show. And it just became really hard to be able to edit that content in a timely fashion. <laughs> oh boy. He's loading the guitar up. I can't wait. Uh, and, and then, um, y- you know, to be able to bring those back in the short form content, it's, I think it's going to be something we're going to go forward with. So that's, that's very exciting. Um, now I want to kind of pivot a little bit to the cables to clouds crew and hear from you guys on what were your favorite moments uh, from, from this year and maybe a little bit about what you got coming up on the show. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll take that. Um, so yeah, I think we kind of went over some of our favorite episodes already from this year. We've already had some amazing guests, um, that, you know, like a lot of people from like that we literally wrote down on the paper, like day one, when we started the podcast, like the people that we knew we wanted to have on. So that was, that was huge for us. Um, happy to say that upcoming soon, we have even more of those people <laughs> that we, uh, <laughs> um, that we wrote down day one. Um, we've already recorded a, a couple this year that were released early next year, um, that we're super excited about. Um, you know, I think our numbers, let me pull up the stats here. We didn't crush anything, but we, 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 we hit about 13,000 plus downloads, which I think is just the fact that anyone wanted to listen to us. 13,000? Are you poo-pooing 13,000? Yeah. I'm not poo-pooing yeah. it, but you just said 600K, bro. So it's like. <laughs> well, that, that's nine months versus what, three yeah, years? That's, that's true. That's that's true. true. They've, been, yeah, they've been at it a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had, um, just to run through the list that we made here, we had uh, about 14 guests come on, um, including the, I think we've recorded with 14 guests this year. I don't think we've actually released all of them yet, but. Um, probably one of the coolest, like the first, like really cool moments for us, whereas, um, we talked with, um, Tim, Matt from, uh, learning at Cisco reached out to you, um, and That's see right. if we wanted to have Hank Preston on the show to talk about this new cloud connectivity cert that they were putting out. And we were like, fucking a, we do like, absolutely. That's <laughs> like, uh, that was like a pretty cool moment for us. Um, you know, we had, right. Can I say something real quick about this? Because I have to call out Hank here. Because I specifically asked on the episode multiple times, are there going to be other specialties in the other tracks? Oh, well, you know, I can't really say anything. And then like a week later, they started announcing all the other tracks. (laughs) Man, I was so mad. That's that's how it works, man. You can't say it. You know what an NDA is, right? Yeah, right. (laughs) I know, I know. 
<laughs> Alex, you know what I could tell you right now? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> but that was that one was super cool. I, I remember we were seeing like either it was like a webinar or something from Cisco where like they plugged the the podcast and that was like our yeah. first time seeing it as like someone yeah. externally like referring to it all be at Cisco. That was, that was really cool. Yeah. Um, you know, we've gotten, we've had guests on from AWS to talk about like things like cloud WAN and VPC lattice. Um, Alexandra Wiedes and Justin Davies were on to talk about VPC lattice. And we like, we had this idea. We we're like, Oh, we're going to, we want to record, you know, an episode about VPC lattice and then we'll do a demo with you guys and, and we'll, put that out and they were like how about we just provide you some exclusive content that's only available internally and we'll let you release it under your own channel and things like that which was like <laughs> yeah. we were like whoa we were like not to Very like cool. you know pat ourselves on the back too hard or anything but I, that was that was just a cool moment it was if, if to like have something yeah. exclusive felt crazy to me um so that was yeah the the vpc lattice one again sorry i gotta jump in here the Talk about being starstruck, man. Like I, it's unbelievable to me that we just started this podcast this year. Like we're all diving further into cloud networking and we got like Alexandra Wiedes and like just way high up people at AWS to come on and talk to us about a brand new product. Like it still just blows yeah. my mind Yeah, that, that that's actually like a real thing that happened. That, that was just a super cool moment for me. And Justin actually did a presentation just at reInvent a couple of weeks ago. And I remember at the, at the end of his presentation, he like called it out. He's like, you can pair this with the Cables to Clouds podcast and get more information on VPC Lattice. Oh, and we were so like, cool. Yeah, it was, it was like, very cool. The, the thing, someone was standing on a stage talking to like a few hundred people, like mentioning us. I was like, fuck, man. That's, yeah, every, every, <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Well, and it's, right? it's, a, it's on there. I mean, it's recorded, right? So like anybody who watches the session from now on will see that. Yeah, absolutely. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, we, we've already said it once. We'll say it a thousand times. We're just so grateful for, you know, not only A1, but the community involved. And, you know, yeah, I think that, I think that's the thing is like you, you think like if you hear these numbers that like how many people listen to A1, it sounds like there's just like so many people. If you think about the amount of people that go to Cisco Live, you're like, man, there's network engineering is big. It's not that big, man. It's like no. you you find out you're like it's like you're two rungs away from someone at any given time. Like so everybody <laughs> knows everybody. Um and it's like it's everyone's so accessible, everyone's so nice. Um and and you know, they, they'd probably be more willing to work with you than you'd ever anticipate. So, um, you know, I'd always just like reach out and talk to people, have conversations. It's, uh, I think it means the world to me and it means the world to a lot of us. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah and you know, what's crazy. Um, I think we've mentioned this before, but the three of us, uh, me, Tim and Chris, like we actually all were together at, uh, uh, what the hell's it called? Cisco live Cisco in live, San Diego. Yeah. In 2019. Mm. And it's like, we, we weren't like talking regularly. We weren't hanging out or anything. So it's crazy that just a couple of years later, like we're all together doing a, doing a podcast. So it's just, just funny how things work. I think we're all like, uh, people don't, I like to say that like, you know, the whole six degrees from Kevin Bacon, it's like two and a half max for, for network engineering. Yep. <laughs> and, and you, you know, everybody you just don't you know you're like one degree from everybody but and they're all one degree from you and they don't know it like that's you just run into this person or like have one mutual and all of a sudden you realize how close you are to everybody else it's very very good well speaking yeah. of which if anybody talks to radia perlman have her call me because <laughs> i have been after radia to get to get on this show and she's she's a busy busy lady for sure but if we're all that connected somebody get radia over here because <laughs> i remember that one talk i think i shared with you guys and she just she's another one of those like just so honest and irreverent and snarky and smart i'm like man i can't wait to talk to her so i'm, I'm, I'm working on it but yeah if, yeah if you know anybody who knows anybody let's make my, it happen my, next year <laughs> yeah goals 
I was looking for it, but uh, one of the very first networking books I bought, well, I think the first one might have been, and I don't remember who it was, somebody's CCNA study guide, not the not the uh, Cisco Press one, but the second one I bought was Interconnections, Volume Two from uh, yep. that re- that ready a bit that mm-hmm. had wrote. And you're right, reading the book, so much of who she is comes across. Oh my god, cool. it's such a great, yeah. it's such a great book. She calls like the IEEE like just a bunch of buffoons, right? Like a bunch of drunken frat boy buffoons. I don't know if it was the IEEE, whatever like standard body it was that, you know, I mean, just things I've never heard before. Like, she's like, yeah, I was there. I know. It's all ridiculous. She's like, Ethernet's terrible. Spanning tree's awful. She's like, when I wrote it, I never thought 30 years later, people would still be running this awful thing. I'm like, oh my God, I love her. Right? Like, she's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, her book yeah. is is really good, and she covers all of that in the book too, which is also mm. very funny. And and it made me <laughs> when I was, and of course I didn't know shit from Shinola, right? I was I was barely studying, starting to learn, and to read all of that, like, oh, how about like he, she wanted layer three, like all the way to the host, for example, <laughs> like you know, there's so many little things, um, and it was such a, an eye opener about the industry and like what I was getting into. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Pete like a again. like a slash slash thirty on each port to every host? IPv six, bro. No problem. <laughs> oh man. A- but, any other yeah, thoughts? I mean, oh, go ahead. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, I was just gonna say that, but that's pretty much it from us. You know, we we kind of just got started. You know, uh, I I'm really thankful for the people out there that are still listening from like day one, where we we didn't really have our feet set pretty very well. We learned that you know recording audio is a fucking bitch if you don't get it right the first time. <laughs> uh, so um, that's that's a painful thing. But I'm I'm really thankful for just every. If anyone's ever reached out, everyone, anyone's ever listened, anything at all, like it's, it's just, uh, you know, it means the world to us. So we appreciate it. And it's, it's been a great year and we hope that 2024 is, is just as fruitful and, and even better than 2023. So let's make it happen. Do you guys have any plans for, for 2024? You want to sneak out of the bag? Uh, I guess, I mean, we did just record one, uh, just the other day with, um, with Dwan Lightfoot, which is oh, you know, Dwan. Oh, nice. Dwan is a guy that we like. Yeah. Like I said, one of those guys we wrote down day one. Like we knew we wanted to have him on. He just yeah. came on and he shined uh, just as as great as he always does. And uh, you know, it's um, we're really excited to put that one out. So that'll be out in probably next uh, next month sometime. So yeah. be on the lookout for that. And yeah, we've got some other collaborations in the works and hopefully those will those will get ironed out over the next few weeks and yeah we'll uh we'll just keep expanding you know i'm looking uh, forward to that duan's another one of those people that i just listen to every time he's talking he's yeah and he's such a kind guy too we had him on he's just such a nice kind man that just just so smart and i I love duan i can't wait to hear that that'll be awesome yeah i think i think i've learned one of the number one things that i respect in this community is is all the humility right that's just uh it's it's when, when you find that it's like really hard to deny it and, and be attracted to those people you know it's 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 great so um yeah really stoked to put that one out awesome well uh it's definitely been a fun year i appreciate you guys taking the time to walk down memory lane uh, i know we have a lot of exciting stuff planned for the coming year we have already got some great guests lined up. We've already got a ton of content recorded this year that we're going to release next year. So I, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and, and with that buffer, I think that will give us the opportunity to perhaps explore some additional content that we can create and put out to the world. So uh, lots of fun things to come in 2024. Are we so, going to get together next year? I, I hope so. Uh, I, yeah, I, I wish I could tell you... Uh, uh, we had something planned, um, but but we don't yet at this point. But we didn't at this point uh, last right. year. So um, you know a- anything can happen, and I'm sure sh- I'm sure it will happen. I, I hope that we get another uh, group Sydney. interested in put and <laughs> pull party at Andy's house. <laughs> pull party at Andy's. Dude, yeah, <laughs> totally. You're that. That's my. That's one of my goals for 2024. Is I'd love to get together somehow, whether it's you know, us or at a tech conference or I just, it, there, there's, yeah. I don't know what it is, you know, like 
I complained about being in the office years ago and then I was so happy to work from home. And after like five years working from home, it's so nice to like get around people when I do and, and go to the office. So I, I've, I've learned about myself that like, I really thrive with like human, like in-person human interaction with people. And when I get together with this team, with you guys, everybody here, um, I don't, something changes for me, something happens. And I just, I get really excited and really into one. And, 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 and then we all go home and it <laughs> starts to fade and I'm like, Oh, I, I kind of miss those guys. So I don't know. There's just, there's some kind of synergy magical thing that happens when we're together. And I wish we could do it more often, but we got to get together in 2024 somehow. That's I'll, I'll put that on me. I'll try to figure out how to do that. I mean, we basically got to find money, right? We get like a sponsor or we all go to some conference. When is, when is Cisco live? June, 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 much June. Yeah. yeah. June. So that was like year? the conference, right? Everybody seems to go to. So maybe, uh, where, where's it going to be this year? Does anyone know? I think it's, it's Vegas, Vegas again. Yeah. I think still it's still Vegas. in Vegas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe. I've never been to Vegas. Is it as gross as I think either. it is? It's fine for about three days. <laughs> and yeah, then, uh, do it. Do it <laughs> once. Dude, that is so accurate. Yeah. <laughs> for about yeah. as long as Cisco Live, it's 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 cool. Yeah, you'll be fine yeah. okay. for that period of time. Yeah. yeah, you'll understand why people are leaving early whenever they are. Um, yeah, but yeah. The last day, you're like, I shouldn't have stayed this entire last. Day. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I want to remind our listeners, if you do want to support the show, you can do that in a number of ways. The easiest way to do that is to subscribe, like, uh, follow, uh, all of those good things. Uh, you know, if, if the podcatcher that you're using, such as Apple or Spotify, allow you to leave some sort of review for either of our shows, please go ahead and do that. Uh, and that, that really helps out with the, the mojo that is social media networking and podcasting. Uh, and then, of course, make sure you follow us on all of our social media. We are in just about every place that you you social these days, right? Uh, we're, we're on Twitter. We're on TikTok. Or X. I'll give in and I'll call it X. Boom. Uh, no. <laughs> How dare Boom. you? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all, right. all right. All right. All right. All right. I take that back then. I take, I take that back. Uh, and then you can always find all of our content on the art of network engineering.com. And that includes uh, some of the cables to cloud stuff as well. I think in 2024, maybe we, we get you guys your own website. We should work on that. Um, <laughs> A shiny new website. <laughs> shiny new website for you guys. <laughs> Uh, but no, this, this has been a great conversation. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us on the live stream. For those of you that decided to jump in and hang with us, we do appreciate it. Uh, you can find us live streaming most Thursday evenings. We start around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, uh, and we try to post links on our social media accounts so you can join us. So we, we'd love to have a crowd as we, we do this. Um, Andy, I, I think we were going to take the show out in a little bit different way tonight. Are you ready to do that? Do, do you do you want to do you want to say good night AJ or anything and then we'll just finish with the song or what? We've right, never done that, this before. This wasn't planned. That, I don't know. that that sounds good. That sounds good. All right, we will see you next time on another episode of the Art of Network Engineering podcast. Happy holidays from all of us here at A One. You might want to turn it off now. Yeah. <laughs> and a one and a two and <laughs> let's see. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Oh, my God. What, guys? Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. No, 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 no. You said we were real. Hold hold on. Stop. You said said we were going all the way. I was starting it dashing through the snow. Yeah, that's true. Technically, that is the song. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. All of them just go. I can't. We go all the way. Are we in key? Fun is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells! I knew I should have brought a harmonica. I know this was going to end with me just singing by myself in a one horse open sleigh. Oh my God! Merry Christmas, everybody! Oh.